TV KPM. Oh, you greeny onion leaves. Listen, listen to my command. For I am the light witch. Listen to me, come. Come and grow towards me, for I am the greatest source of light. You need light to be able to make your own food. Come to me, come to me, come to me, grow towards me. Ah! Hello everyone, you are now watching Level 2 on Didet TV KPL together with me, Sean Steven as your host. And as you saw earlier, yes, our teacher for today is none other than Teacher Nina. Hi, hello Sean, hello everyone. How are you doing today? Oh, I feel great, Sean. Yes, I'm super excited too, but we also like to introduce our sign language interpreter of today. It is of course Teacher Cathy. Hi teacher, how are you today? Excellent. All right. And I'm super, super excited to find out what we will be learning today. So, Teacher Nina, what mm -hmm. exactly are we learning today? Okay, as you can see here, I have a lot of plants with us today. Mm -hmm. So, today we are going to learn about plants mm -hmm. response to stimuli. Ah, ah, all right. Okay. So, first up. We need to remember back what we have learned in year one, year two, and year three. Mm -hmm. Okay, parts of plants. I'm sure you remember the parts of plant we have learned, and also um, what is actually plants respond to stimuli. Oh, ah, okay. okay. So why do plants need to respond to stimuli? Mm -hmm. Plants, as we know, are living things just like us, yes. and also animals. We can detect danger. Mm -hmm. We know when we have not enough basic needs in our lives. Yes. So we must do something mm -hmm. to make sure that we can still be alive. We can yes. survive. Yes. For example, Sean, if you are sitting at home, mm -hmm. watching the TV at home, yep. and you feel thirsty, oh. ah, so what would you do? I would definitely get a drink. Uh -huh. So you get up from your couch mm -hmm. and walk to the kitchen and grab yourself a glass of Water. Drink. Yeah. Water, yeah. Mm -hmm. But for plants, if they do not have enough water, can they like get up and oh. walk, walk, walk towards a river or something? If they could do that, I think I'll be dreaming, <laughs> but I don't think they can do oh, that. They can't, mm -hmm. but they can actually move when they grow. Ah, ah. Okay. So that is how they respond to stimuli. Okay. Uh, so like us, we move um, away from danger mm -hmm. or towards what we need, our basic needs. So it's kind of the same with plants okay. for them to survive. So like I said just now, we need to remember back what are the parts of plants that we have learned. So because there are certain parts of plants that actually respond to st certain stimulus. Okay. Okay. So let's look one by one. Okay. All right, so we know there are shoots. Mm -hmm. Shoots are the baby leaves that grow. Okay. And then we have the roots and also leaves. Okay. Okay, so shoots will respond to light. Mm -hmm. That means it will grow towards light. Okay. Ah, because they need light to make their own food. Okay, and then roots. Roots will grow towards two stimuli. Mm -hmm. The first one is water. Okay. And the second one is towards gravitational pull or gravity. Okay. And the fourth one are the leaves of certain species of plants. These plants are quite special because they respond to touch. 
whenever they feel something standing on them or touches them, they will close, they will fold their leaves. Ooh. Ah, so I'm sure you have experienced that before and you like playing it. Okay. So now, uh, what I have here right now, okay, mm -hmm. can you see the first one, Sean? This one? Uh, okay, yes, this okay. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are what I'm, what I want you to see is how the plants are actually overgrown from the pot. Yes. But it still grow upwards. Uh -huh, ah, yes. Because remember, mm -hmm. shoots grow or respond to light. light. So it will grow upwards. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, we have the money plant. Mm -hmm. You can see the roots. Oh, yeah. Okay, the roots actually grows downwards wow. towards where the water is. Oh, yes, that's true. Ah, so roots grow towards or respond to water. Mm -hmm. And then, huh, there we have something there for you. This one? Uh, that is a little bit thorny, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it's quite um, sharp there. So you, we have to be careful. That mm -hmm. is a mimosa pudica or touch me not. So don't touch it, Sean. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And we also have that onion uh, plant. Okay. okay. Can you lift it up, Sean? This lift, one? lift the just the just the onion. Uh huh. Okay. You can see the roots. Uh, is actually ah, growing downwards towards right. gravity. Ah yeah. Ah okay. Mm -hmm. So the roots of the plant, this onion plant, is growing towards gravity. It's, it okay. respond to gravity. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, very interesting indeed. And I'm sure all of you who are watching right now would like to know more about the types of the stimuli that plants respond to. Mm -hmm. But before that, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back after this on Delete TV KPM. Don't go anywhere. KPM. Oh, hi. You're now watching Level 2 on Didit TV KPM. Our subject for today is Science DLP. So, Tichi Nina, what are we going to learn for this segment? Ah, now what we are going to do is we are going to do four activities to prove mm -hmm. that plants do respond to stimuli. Ah, ah. all right. Okay, so there are four stimuli. Mm -hmm. You remember light, water, gravity, and also touch. Touch, yes. Ah, so we're going to do the activities one by one. Okay. okay. Let's start with the first one. Mm -hmm. Plants respond to touch. Remember what is the part of the plant that responds to touch? If I'm not mistaken, it's the leaves uh -huh. or the shoots. Okay, so would you like to try and touch the touch me not plant or the oh. mimosa plant? Okay. okay, so this one? Yes. Okay, Come on, gonna... Sean. Let's right. try. So maybe I'll touch. No, this doesn't work. Maybe here the leaves. So let's try. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Does it yeah. close? Is it a mimosa plant or not? Why Maybe does it go? This one okay, here. let's try the bottom okay. one. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm touching the wrong plant. Yes. Oh no! This one. Okay. Okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, Sean. Why don't we watch a video I have prepared for everyone? Okay. okay. Let's, let's have a look. So the leaves of the plants, uh, the mimosa and also Venus fly trap, 
will actually close or fold itself Ooh. when it has been touched. Okay. Ah, okay. Wow. I'm not sure what happened to the plant in front of you just now. Maybe it's a fake mimosa. Hmm. I'm not sure. Is it plasticky? It feels real, <laughs> but maybe it's too shy to close. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Now, let's move on to our second activity. Okay. We want to see how plants respond towards water. All right. Okay. So, in front of us here, we mm -hmm. have... Okay. These are actually soil. You okay. have your set. Okay. okay. Here. And I have sunflower seeds. Ooh. What type of seeds do you have, Sean? Uh, this looks like tomatoes. Uh -huh. Tomato, tomato seeds. seeds. Yeah. Okay. So what we are going to do is we mm -hmm. need um, a see-through container here. So mm -hmm. in we hope that we can see how the um, roots will grow. Okay. okay. So first, what we need to do is you make um, a hole here okay. at the On left or right side. Just one side. Okay. Let Far me left here. side. Okay. Far left side here. To put in mm -hmm. this clay pot this porous clay pot okay okay so what is the function of this is we are going to put in water in this ah so that when we put it in all the way in all the way in okay okay like this ah okay so water will only come from this side of the container okay uh -huh. and we will plant we will put the seeds at the other end of the container. I see. Ah, okay. okay, why do we need this porous clay pot? Because if we just um, spray some water here without this, the water might seep through and go down. Okay. So we will not be able to see the roots actually growing towards that side. Mm -hmm. okay. ah, so that's why we need this. So uh, let's plant the seeds, Sean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, make some room so for the seeds. This are the corner here. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Let me just make show. some room here. Okay, and just plant the seeds, not too deep into the soil. Okay. Okay. So these are the seeds yep. going in. Yep. Okay. Okay. It's nice and cozy there. Yep. Okay. Should I cover it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, not okay. too much. All right, just like that. Ah. Okay. Okay, so now we can pour in some water into this uh, pot. Okay. Okay, so only the water will seep through this um, clay. All right. Plot, okay, so only this part of um, the container, the, the, the soil that actually touches the walls of this pot will be wet. Uh -huh. Ah. So the roots will grow towards that side. Okay. Okay, so just for fun, Sean, mm -hmm. we have some decorations there. Aha, uh, yes, okay. I see. Okay, <laughs> you can use whatever toys, small miniature toys that you have at home. This one I just placed okay, it on top? Yes, uh, we close the... Uh, after pouring pot, the water, yeah, after, okay. After pouring the water and then we can put on some decorations. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, some of these little um, mushrooms uh -huh. here. Okay, you can just... Wait, is this supposed to go in? Okay. Okay, here. Uh -huh. I got some little bunnies. Yeah. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. So, can you imagine when the seeds actually grow mm -hmm. and it will be really, really merry here? <laughs> <laughs> Joyful because it will be like, wow, so many things here and it will be lively. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now mm -hmm. is uh, we have done with the second investigation. Okay. We need to wait for a few weeks, okay. maybe uh, two or three weeks, and then hopefully we will see uh, from the front here or the back or at the side that uh, the, the roots will actually grow towards the water. Ooh, okay. all right, looking forward to that. Yes, so now can we move on to the third investigation okay. where we want to see how plants actually respond to gravity. Oh. Okay, now. Ah, mm -hmm. remember the wow. language right now? Look at okay. That. okay. So this is what actually happened. We do not need any witches <laughs> to make um, the plant grow other ways okay. rather than going up. Okay? So actually this uh, onion mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. We plant it this way, All right. uh, sideways. But as you can see, um, of course, we have learned that um, the shoots will grow up and the roots will actually grow down, downwards towards uh, towards gravity. Okay. Down. Okay, so, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so, so Sean, yeah. um, I've prepared for you mm -hmm. just a, a cup, a plastic cup that you can get from anywhere that you, maybe your boba dream. <laughs> okay, yes. so and then we make a hole there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what we do is we stick or stuck a onion there. Just okay. put this so I have an onion, onion here. Ah, I'm just going to yes. place it inside. It's very, very easy to make this. Okay. okay, nice and gentle, okay. just like this? Yep, ah, okay. it should be fitting just right, yes. not too much. Mm -hmm. And then you pour in soil. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm just to save time, yeah. I'm just going to try and see if I can just pour some soil okay. inside here. Yeah, all the okay. way, Sean, all, all the way up. All to the top? Yep. Okay. Okay. Hopefully in a few weeks we will see the growth of the roots growing downwards towards okay. gravity. Uh -huh. More? Okay. Okay. All right, nice? just nice. Okay. okay, now you can spray some water. Okay, I'll do that. Ah, so you need to remember to water mm -hmm. the plants. All right. How much okay. of water should I put? Just uh, not to make too it much. Like this? Okay. Uh -huh. Just nice. All right. Okay. okay, the last one is the activity to show or to prove that plants respond to light. Uh -huh. So what we need is a black box. Okay. A box mm -hmm. and make sure that um, there is no openings. Okay. Okay. But we just make one opening at the side here. Ah. Okay, so can here? you open? Uh, so this one here, we've just done a little cut. Yep. Just like this. Yay. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, mm -hmm. you shall put it here put and here. then we bubble. just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we can put one plant here mm -hmm. in... Okay, just maybe... Okay. Yeah. All right, maybe you can put it here. Just at the center. Okay. okay, this is um, a few weeks mm -hmm. old um, water spinach my pupil has uh, planted. Okay. You can use this or as you have learned in mm -hmm. year three that there are other ways of how... Uh, plants actually reproduce. You can actually use bryophyllum. Okay, Ooh, ah, wow. they can actually grow from the leaflets. Can you see these small leaves? Yes. So actually, you can. Okay, let's uh, remove that one, the water spinach. We okay. can actually try and um, plant this tiny, uh, tiny bryophyllum. So let's see the um, the growth of the shoots. Of this, can you see? They are very, very tiny and cute. Ah, so it's just above the leaves. Yes. It's here. Ooh. So it can reproduce through the leaf. Uh, this small, tiny baby leaves here. Okay. You can just pluck it and put it. Ah. ah okay. Just like that. Yes, and spray it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Remember to water the plants. Okay. Oops. Right. Okay. If you can Don't see those worry. green ones over there. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably just a glimpse of it. It's underneath right. now. Okay. But never mind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, spray a little bit. Okay. Okay, right. Okay. Put it in this to the chamber and close it. The chamber of darkness, mm -hmm. except that it has a ah, hole at the so side. So the only source of light will be coming mm -hmm. through this window. Yes. So we just wait for a few weeks, but remember to water the plant every day. Okay. Ah, so after a few weeks, only then you will see uh, what will happen. All right, I can't wait for that. But in the meantime, since we have already completed all of the experiments and the investigations, based on my performance, how well did I do? I think you did really well. Yeah? You did really well. Ah. How many stars okay. or how okay. many points do I get? Mm, I think you deserve four stars, Sean. Four stars for me. And of course, for those of you watching at home, if you followed through everything that we've done, or if you followed um, you know, while we're doing this, Four stars for them as well, right? Yes, of well course. Well done to everyone. And right now, we're going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Didate TV KPM.
TV KPM Tweet 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 <laughs> It really looks like birds <laughs> Hi everyone You are now watching level 2 on Dinet TV KPM Our lesson for today The subject is Science DLP with Teacher Nina As well as Teacher Cathy as our sign language interpreter Alright, so Teacher Nina what are we going to do for this segment? Okay, now we are going to look back at what we have learned and also we will see whether Sean still remembers everything that we have learned. Well, I'll try my best. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's jump to the first question. Okay, so look at this picture. Mm -hmm. What do the roots of this plant respond to? Ah, hmm. Look at the roots. Okay, the roots are moving towards this little cup or pot that contains water. And look at the soil around that. Tip. It looks wet. Uh -huh. So I think uh, the roots of this plant responds mm. to water. Yes, you are absolutely right, yeah. Sean. Good job. Thank you. Okay, next one. Mm, what about this one? What hmm. do the roots of this plant respond to? Okay, it looks like the roots are growing somewhat downwards. Mm -hmm. So from down, I think it's gravitational pull. Ah, yes, you are right. Also, yeah. so roots actually mm -hmm. uh, grow towards water and also gravitational pull. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, third question. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Look at this potted plant. What do the shoots, the shoots, okay, the shoots of this plant mm -hmm. respond to? Okay, mm. so the shoots of this plant, so I can see there are two different plants. One is upright, the other is a bit tilted to the side, but they still grow upwards. Mm -hmm. What comes from above? Oh, yes, I would say sunlight. Aha, yes. Shoots respond to light. Very good, Sean. All right. Ah, okay, so, so now mm -hmm. I have an application question for you. Okay. I want you to look at this picture very carefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, this plant, this potted plant inside the house. Okay. Uh, it is indoor, mm -hmm. but it is a little bit bent. Okay. Why is it bent? I think it's because the whole plant itself is tilting towards the sunlight which comes from the window. Ah. Ah, yes, so of course we do not want this to happen. Mm -hmm. So what can we do, Sean? Maybe we can either place it outside the house or mm -hmm. closer towards the window so that it doesn't tilt to a, <laughs> to a certain angle like this. What, what if we change uh, the pot a little bit so that it will <laughs> bend the other way? I think that's a good idea as well. That's called yoga plant. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've learned so much today. Thank you so much, teacher. What okay. about, uh, how about you give us a, um, a short recap of what we have learned so okay, far? Okay, so now you have seen and we have done the activities to show that plants respond to stimuli. Remember, plants respond to stimuli by moving their growth. Mm -hmm. The way they grow, either towards the light, towards um, water, gravity, or also touch. Ah, yeah, yes, that's touch. right. Ah. And based on my overall performance, how well did I do? Okay, so actually we have to wait for a few weeks until Sean's experiment just now finished mm -hmm. and he needs to tell us, mm -hmm. to tell everyone what actually happens and why, for example, the roots is growing to a certain way and then only he will deserve six stars. Ah, okay, so I'll hold that six stars mm -hmm. until that results come out. And for those of them who are watching right now, if you are watching right now on Daily TV KPM, if let's say they want to get uh, so the resources or they want to get enhancement exercises, from where can they get it? Uh, you can just open your Delima account mm -hmm. or just open Sumbaku. All right. Thank you so much, Teacher Nina, You're for welcome. our wonderful lesson today. And of course, thank you, Teacher Cathy, for being our sign language interpreter. And thank you for watching. Hopefully, it's been beneficial to all of you. And we'll see you in our next class. Till then, take care. Bye. Bye. One day, I was strolling along my school science garden, and I saw something amazing. Oh, look at that. This plant is actually climbing up the wall. Look! My, oh my, look at the roots. It has some kind of a glue-like structure that makes the roots able to stick on the wall firmly. Whoa, look at that. 
the roots go down into the ground and all the shoots grows up like reaching up to the sunlight aha uh -huh. look at it very carefully oh the leaves are quite big i'm so amazed with this plant this is taken from the second floor yes it has reached almost to the second floor and now you're looking at from the side view it looks as though they are raising up hmm i wonder what's the name of this plant <laughs> KPM